And uh, do you think Kenyans were safe? Wakati tukiangalia pale ni mambo ambayo yanaendelea kutrend. Sasa hivi tulembwa kwamba cases zilimekuwa withdrawn. Tukianza na gashagwa, wakati tulona kwamba na own a lot of billions imekuwa withdrawn. Tukiingia pale mauaji ambayo Aisha Jumu aliyafanya zimekuwa zote withdrawn. So do you think Kenya is all about money? Does money really talk in Kenya? Money speaks in Kenya. And by the way, you started by asking if we are safe as Kenyans. One thing I would want to make straight is that our safety ended the day William Ruto got into office. And this is something that anyone can take to the bank. You will come to prove it later. That is when our safety ended. Talking about the cases being withdrawn, our judiciary is already corrupt. So the body that should be talking for us is now corrupt and we are not safe anymore. Because when we talk of Gashagwa, his case being withdrawn, and actually not just withdrawn, it is sent back to the origin so that they start afresh. Uh, the office of uh, a senior office like uh, the DPP's office cannot do something without evidence. And you realize that they were talking of lack of evidence. And one notion that people have been talking about is that uh, that office was compromised by the government that was then. As much as it may be true, but not for Gashagwa. Gashagwa, we know Gashagwa since he was uh, in Moi's government. He is not someone we are meeting for the first time. And uh, even in, in his own talks, you can tell who Gashagwa is. So I'm seeing a hand of this government in the withdrawal of these cases. If this is a government that is surrounded by murderers, we talk of, uh, apart from murderers, we talk of rapists. Uh, Lintika Rinturi had a case in court uh, about uh, uh, a rape case. It was withdrawn. And these are the people who have a stake in the government. When we talk of people like uh, Didmas Baraza, uh, we talk of uh, the, the, the CS, uh, the, the CS from Coast, I'm forgetting her name, Aisha Juma, thank you. These are people who have cases in court and they're in this government. Do you trust a murderer to protect you from murder? Do you trust a thief to protect you from theft? So in short, what I'm saying, Kenya is not safe. But uh, one thing I would also mention is that in Kenya, we have always gone through this. We will survive, but it is a lesson to Kenyans to make right choices at the right time. So in a nutshell, I'm saying we are not safe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, and just winding up, um, there was an event and Gashagwa said that uh, he has forgiven Matiangi and others who are being sent to just and, um, underestimate him and Ruto or bring him down in politics. So do you think he did the right thing after all that he was done? Now, one thing I would want to say is that our deputy president uh, sounded as a shuttle or rather someone who has no legal know-how. When we talk of Matiangi, whatever he did, he, he did it in his capacity as a CS. You don't forgive him, you forgive the office. He didn't do anything against Gashagwa as Matiangi, but he did it as the head of that office. So, and in fact, if you even interrogate Gashagwa himself, is he looking like he has forgiven anyone? These are the people who come on cameras, forgiving you on cameras, and that very time he's talking of forgiveness, he has sent someone to come after you. So that if something happens, that they will have a point of defense, like I forgave him, so he, probably it's not me. And uh, we have grown past that as Kenyans. So let's not be duped by these uh, leaders in office like some of my colleagues say, leaders who used their money
to be in office using sweet words to convince us, just like they convinced some few Kenyans, or not few, but a good number of Kenyans in the ballots, the last election we had. Let's be very keen as Kenyans not to be used by these sweet sounding words from leaders that we have, but who have a very sinister motives. Yes. All right, so let us not always be corrupted. And thank you so much for your time, and uh, we are so much humbled as Mtembe TV. I'm also glad uh, for you people having me here this afternoon. Till we meet next time. Thank you. <laughs>